have you ever been charged extra for an Uber ride? Did you try to find out why? Well, the ride service app is again in the spotlight and this time it has been called out for its controversial surge in ride prices. Why are customers facing a hike in prices? What is this controversy all about? Customers usually pay a different ride price than the one promised during booking a ride and this can depend on many factors. Maybe the cab had to wait for a long time before the customer arrived or the route to the destination must have changed, so on and so forth. But this time, the claim that has been made is quite worrying. Reports say Uber has been accused of increasing prices depending on the user's battery percentage. And how does Uber decide the price? An investigation by a Belgian newspaper shows that if your phone's battery percentage is low, let's say at 12%, then the app charges you a price of nearly $19. But you see, things change, it says when Uber notices that you have a higher battery percentage, let's say something close to 84%, then you will be charged an approximately $18. The sudden drop in the ride price would have anybody question. Is Uber committing a form of daylight robbery? What is this all about? And what does Uber have to say about this? Well, it has denied the allegations and said that the app cannot measure a user's battery. And this was followed by an explanation over how the pricing is determined by the existing demand for rides and the number of available drivers. Reports, in fact, showing that in a 2016 interview with Uber's former head of economic research, Keith Chen, the man said that even he noticed that users with lower battery levels were more prone to surge pricing. Chen later denied the fact that the firm was explicitly hiking prices. But experts have voiced their skepticism about why the company was monitoring battery life at all. And what exactly is surge pricing? The concept of surge pricing is based on a dynamic pricing method where a price is temporarily increased as a reaction to increased demand and mostly limited supply. But apps like Uber seem to have used this practice to make illegitimate profits, while customers and drivers complain of unfair trade practices carried out by the company, as per reports. Uber was founded on the promise of making transportation as reliable as running water, everywhere for everyone. Well, this is what they promised. But the question is, what did the riders and the drivers receive? Multiple questions are being raised over the threat to one's own private information as well. You know, how does the application find out your battery percentage? But let's not forget, this is not the first time Uber has been uh, facing these controversies. The vomit fraud, quote unquote, had caught the attention of passengers as well, in which the drivers apparently took advantage of a policy which stated that if a customer falls sick in the car, then the company can charge them an extra fee. Uber drivers fooled customers by showing them duped stock pictures of a dirty car and charged additional fee from them. How much could the company potentially charge? It starts from $20 for a spilled drink or food item. The amount goes higher. $80 for liquid messes that would require special products to clean. And here comes the highest one, $150 for bodily fluids like vomit. The company clearly know, knew how to get money out of the customer's pocket. And we hope you remember one of Uber's biggest controversies as well, the leaked Uber files, a set of confidential files that uh, revealed how the company flouted laws 
apparently duped the police, exploited violence against drivers and secretly lobbied governments. Those were the claims during, the, uh, during its aggressive global expansion. The leak of more than 124,000 documents laid bare the ethically questionable practices that fueled the company's transformation when it comes to becoming one of Silicon Valley's most famous companies. Not only customers, but the drivers also are slowly witnessing uh, that Uber does not seem to be practicing what it has been preaching. But does the app understand that people can now look through what's happening? We will be keeping a track on this. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.